Hey there everybody, this is Silly Cat 2 Whoa, volume. <laughs> Why do I always have the volume on so loud when I'm doing these LPs? Seriously. Uh, hey guys, Silly Cat 2 here. Welcome back for more Golden Sun Lost Age. Last episode, we went to Madra, we found Piers, and we had a whole bunch of menu fails. So, anyway, since while we're wandering around, we are going to go to Oxenia, which is the continent, continent east of Indra. Yeah, I've heard you about it. Right, you already. If you're going to Oxenia, you better get me. Our halfway is up along the northeast of Oxenia. You'll see it eventually, and that was the worst Indian accent ever. <laughs> anyway. Here we go, Oxenia Cliffs. Apparently, there is a boat here with the Champa emblem on it, and... Whoa. That rope is making the screen go crazy. This is a Champa boat. You can see our mark on the flag here. It's been running around here by a tidal wave. Heh. <laughs> Hey, if this is a Chompa ship, then that must mean Pierce isn't a Chompa. So, why does the Elder still need Briggs to clear his name? Oof. Yeah, you don't usually think about that, but people do die in tsunamis and stuff, and it's kind of a tragedy sort of thing. Anyway... The school year's almost over, again. And so, I really ought to be working on my project, but I am doing this instead, and Felix got a pirate sword. Oops. Another menu fail. This is a light blade, so it can be equipped on Jenna. And that is just what we are going to do, because Felix already has a plenty good weapon. And the Pirate Sword unleashes Dream Tide, which has a chance of putting enemies to sleep. Very nice. Alright, now we've done that, we can actually jump across here. It's a little dangerous, but eh. And that was when I bring up a text file with all the enemy buyers in it, because... I have decided I am not going to be doing more enemy bios except in voice format only because I apparently suck at making those graphics things because they're always wrong. <laughs> it's annoying. Anyway, broken bridge here, so we just gotta go down. And welcome to the first new enemy encounter. This is a kobold. He has 77 HP, he is weak to Jupiter, strong to Venus, he doesn't really have anything special about him other than that he can defend. So we are going to have Felix deal with him. No, oh, he's weak to, he's strong to Venus, weak to Jupiter. And the, I did something stupid. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Momonga! This is another new enemy. He has 53 HP, but he is very agile. Fortunately, he's like super weak to Jupiter. Not that that even matters because we don't have any Jupiter gym. So we're just gonna get rid of him. He has a 1 in 32 chance of dropping a Weasel Claw, and his special move, Quick Slash, is a, a Jupiter attack that targets one person. Anyway, we are just going to get one thing here before we head on over to that desert we passed by. This isn't the order I usually do things, but statistically, the enemies will be easier if we go to the desert first. Dino! This is another new enemy. He has 82 HP and very high attack for this early in the game. 
he's weak to Jupiter, strong to Venus, and his attack power bite is a highly damaging attack that uh, does Venus damage. He has a 1 in 16 chance of dropping an herb. And kill him. Yay, we got him! Now, what we want to get is... I believe it's up here, but I might be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. I'm probably wrong. Yeah. Oof. Power bite in action right there. Whoops! No, I do not want to... <laughs> Menu! That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so if we, like, go around, go around, and get into another enemy encounter... If we, like... <sighs> we yawn. <laughs> I'm so thirsty, I should have taken a drink before I start recording, but whatever. Uh, Cobalt's. Did I mention they're weak to Jupiter? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, shut up, you troll. It's still up the field. There we go. Okay, what we want to do is. Get bit by a dino. Unleash the Velociraptors! <laughs> That's the weirdest use of the Arnold Schwarzenegger voice I have ever heard. I'll say this is just a village on the side. It's been a long time since we've had any visitors in Mika Sala. Mika Sala, whatever. I don't think the earthquake. It looks like a whole different land collide into our own. Got a wise man, healer guy here. This village with the three circles indicates a shop where you can buy just about anything. Welcome, welcome. If you need it, we got it. See, if th see anything you need? We have the blessed Ankh here. Which is a good upgrade for what? Really? Well then, I guess we are going to be selling some things so we can buy the blessed arc. Um, smoke bomb we don't need. Elixir we don't. Actually, I might need the elixir later, but whatever. Still in the circle either, and we still don't have enough money for that blessed onk, so uh, are you looking for some? Well, if you're looking for someone, I'd say the best place to start would be somewhere else. <laughs> Tanko Garo lies to the east of us, but it's where it's some quaint human. People in Garo are pretty furry. They look weird and kind of cuddly, but they're nice enough. FURRIES I WANT! <laughs> okay, uh, now we've gotten that over with, what we actually want is somewhere up here. There is a cave with a summon tablet in it, somewhere along this mountain range, and WHOA! Meet Sour! He is the, our second Mercury Ginny, he has 291 HP, 26 PP. His synergy attacks include, uh, Cool, Ice, Froth, and Douse. Cool, Froth, and Douse are the same three, uh, are, uh, three, uh, three-person targeting Mercury attacks with different levels of power. Cool is the strongest, Douse is the weakest. Ice has the same power rating as Cool, but, uh, it only hits one person. Okay, now hopefully this guy won't run away on us, because that would be kind of annoying. Okay, we got him, and Shiba even leveled up. Okay, uh... 
we've gotten that taken care of. The cavey one is actually up here. Oxenia Cavern. Oh, we actually can't do anything, can we? <laughs> we need a synergy we don't have. No. Anyway, as much as I would like to go see the furries, we have business elsewhere in Oxenia. We want to rescue peers, after all. So let's run, run, run away from the gingerbread man, and that doesn't even make any sense. Wait, where? Since when have I ever made more sense than Rao Cow? Anyway, the furries look better in Dark Dawn anyway. <laughs> And they're in a totally different part of the world, too. Anyway, welcome to Yampi Desert. This is a much easier desert than the other two deserts we had to go through in the last Golden Sun game. Ugh. Those were annoying. But yeah, the only thing about Yampi Desert is that the boss here is kind of overleveled for this point in the game. If overleveled is even a thing among enemies, the Golden Sun Wiki says it is. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can pound here. That's what she said. Or, that's what he said, I guess. I don't know. It's got a guardian ring. Fun uh, bit of trivia here. This is the only ring that increases your eight, uh, that gives you stat boosts when you equip it. The others are just meant to be used. Since Felix, oddly enough, has the lowest defense out of everyone, we are going to give it to him. Hey, look! Here's the party from Madra. Water. My throat is still parched. It's no use. This desert, it's so hot out here. I feel dizzy. That cursed pirate Briggs hadn't smashed a bridge. We wouldn't be here. Maybe we won't find him, but I promise you, Piers will pay the price for him. We followed the pirates here from Madra. Are you going to Al Hafra too? I guess so. I don't think you can get there through the desert. You probably should have crossed the bridge you passed on the way here. Briggs and a chapter have already seen. Can't we just forget about Briggs? No, I'm not about to quit looking for him. There must be some way through this desert. We must pass onward. <coughs> As you can see, the Elder is quite insistent on finding a way through. He feels the only way to our half is through this desert. My father, how am I supposed to get us through the desert? I think you're overestimating my abilities. Hmm. Thus, the origin of a uh, high expectations Asian father. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, there's like one thing here we want to get that's here, and whoa, new enemy! <laughs> Got the stuff to me yet. Uh, this is the Emu. He is like one of the toughest enemies in the, at this point in the game. He has 98 HP, he has pretty high attack, and he's very fast too. But fortunately for us, he's pretty weak to Jupiter. As you can see, a bolt from a, a bolt of plasma is almost enough to kill him. No. There is a puzzle here to get that Jupiter Genie we saw, and I'm going to solve the puzzle for you without really knowing what I am doing, because I am kind of stupid. Okay... Yeah, yeah, yeah... We don't need to get 
I don't know what I'm talking about, this is so stupid. I'm stupid! <laughs> uh, antidote, that's a nice thing for where we are going. Anyway, when I want to pound this into the ground! And then we want to jump over that. Gotta go and go and get attacked by another bird. The birds are once again toast! Ugh, can't do that when I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, then we jump down here actually. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. And then we, like, uh, take on this guy. This is Blitz! He is a Jupiter Jimmy, obviously. He has 267 HP, 24 PP, and he can cast Ray, Slash, and Bolt. Bo <coughs> Ray is more powerful than, uh... Actually, wait, Sheba has Ray. Why do I need to describe it? But, when, but anyway, obviously we want to have Felix attack with Echo, we want to uh, have Shiba use near, summon Mirid, I guess. Oh, he, uh, Blitz can also run away. Blitz can also uh, cast Whirlwind. Yeah, he's just gonna run, isn't he? Uh, we'll try again in the next episode. BYE!